Hi, I'm functional nutritionist Vince Pinstick, and this is MMU Education. Does birth control hurt your muscle mass or training adaptions? We look to answer that question in this video. So birth control, right? It is hormone replacement. It is technically a steroid, right? So you think, well, maybe if it's a steroid, that means it should help me build muscle, right? Well, the answer is it's kind of a mixed bag. Um, as someone who's been working on birth control related issues for metabolism or athletic performance for over 18 years, I can tell you that birth controls can both hurt and help your muscle building and your physical response to a workout. Let's look at a systematic review looking at muscle and training adaptions and birth control more in depth. So uh, of this systematic review, they were looking at 2007 different articles, only 17 really met the criteria. And as you dive deeper, it was looking at, do birth controls hurt your muscle or help your muscle? It also looked at the effect of menstrual cycle, but we're going to, for the focus of this video, we're going to focus on the birth control and what we found. I have seen that different birth controls based on the generation, first generation, second generation, or third generation, they all do different things to a female and their hormone profile. Not to mention that a female's genetic profile will significantly alter the metabolism of a birth control. So it will change where the birth control goes in your body. For example, if you have a high levonorgestrel or that's a synthetic progestin birth control, but you have a uh, different genetic metabolism of birth control, uh, it may all end up going in estrogen or it may stay in your androgens. Um, now, different birth controls have different hormone or metabolism affinities, meaning that some are androgenically detox, some are estrogenically detoxed. And so they have an affinity to convert into a different hormone. So I think it's important to understand that as we try to review some of this confusing material. So as you dig further into the data of the 17 uh, articles, there are about, there were a couple of them that showed two in particular that showed improvements, meaning that the birth control uh, helped help muscle, muscle building, help training adaption, but found four studies that actually showed that the birth control was breaking down muscle and making the body catabolic. Now, this is something that I have seen in many women that start having failing metabolisms in their later years or a slowing metabolism. We see in their histories that they were taking birth controls that were either high uh, ethanol estradiol birth controls or birth controls that really suppressed androgens. Those are birth controls that are for acne, like orthotricycline. So what we see here is a confusing collection of data. Some saying it helps build muscle, some saying it hurts building muscle, and some saying nothing at all. And the reason that it does that is because it doesn't get individualized enough. So it's important to understand that what this data reflects is, is that it's different for everyone. Understand the mechanism of action of the birth control that you're on and then how your body metabolizes it. Now, how would you figure out how your body metabolizes a birth control? Well, you test it. And most doctors will tell you not to run blood or tissue samples when you're on birth control because it's a fixed level that your body stays at. That is not true. Based on the type of birth control that you take, how much you train, right? And how your body metabolizes it, it will dramatically impact your hormone levels. And then those levels mixed with the type of training that you have will either support, support muscle building or dramatically decrease the amount of muscle you have. And this is devastating and has lifelong impacts. This isn't a joke. You shouldn't play around with this. Women should know what birth control they're taking and then do a Dutch test, which we love a urine test or a blood test to see what their levels are averaging out at. Without this information, you could be zeroing out your androgens, which help you build muscle or hold muscle and tearing down your muscle significantly while you're training which means that later on in life, you're gonna have a slower and slower and slower metabolism and have weight issues later or other health issues. More individualized approaches need to be happening for women on birth control that are also in resistance training programs or in sports because it will significantly impact their adult life. Furthermore, it showed here that women that took androgen increasing birth controls definitely had more protein synthesis and muscle building. So we see here that this is a steroid. It can have enhancement properties that everyone should be aware of and understand when they're taking these birth controls. More research needs to be done in this area, but it's clear. If you're a woman and you like to work out 
and you're on a birth control, don't listen to your doctor if they say don't take blood tests. You need to take a test, find out where your hormones are, and you can either help supplement or you can change your birth control to help finding a birth control that more favors muscle building or speak to a functional consultant or dietitian like someone on our team or, or one of our functional practitioners at Metabolic Mentor University to understand how to optimize this to get the best results from the gym and also protect your reproductive health. If you like this content and this material, please like and subscribe to our channel and make sure that you hit the notification bell to be alerted every time we drop another video. We can't do this without you. We appreciate your support.